dropping pressure and they've got early game brawling power now with the Roger and the box shot. A bit of utility would be nice to ensure that if they go, they do go for that, they're not relying only on the chip, and they have a secondary frontliner, the Baksha can fill in for that, but no, Grok wants more. Wait, Grok wait, wait. The other one. Is it a flex? Yeah, exactly. No. No way, right? I don't think so. It's not Iran's way to play the Grok. So what's he going for, Petito? Petito? What, CC again? Oh, CC again. Hey, they changed one pick. I wonder if they're really f thinking that, hey, everything was good. It was just the execution. It's a bit far-fetched in my opinion. I feel like it's not really fair to, ha to, to think of it that way. For Evos, though, they'll be very happy to go with this. Upon I think the, the plan the oh. is to snowball. Oh, no. The wow. plan, I think, for Team Liquid is that they wanted to go for a snowball. They didn't want it to go the way game number one did. They wanted to prevent that late game, the macro play that the Luo Yi can offer with the diversion. But then Evos comes in with a Nolan. We're talking a bit about this, right? We're talking about fast clearing junglers and how they are doing so well now. So Nolan. Fastest clear in jungle, perhaps one of them, definitely in the top three. So, hey, if Baksha was having trouble against the uh, Alpha in clear, Nolan's gonna be online very quick. But then Nolan is also not as tanky, right? Not as flexible, but he is very maneuverable though, and that is the danger. Of course, we've talked also about the weakness of the Nolan, the fact that he does not have immunity. He doesn't have an invul invincible state, like let's say for instance a Hayabusa or a Ling. So he can still be punished, and against Yaoi's Grok, you know, I guess there is the idea that, okay, we can catch him. Now his ultimate doesn't remove crowd control, it only removes slows. That is something that Evos will have to take into consideration when they're going for these aggressive plays. The Coliseum beckons, ladies and gentlemen, for match point. One more game away, and Team Liquid have to say goodbye to their chances of making it through the playoffs and into MSC. Can Evos do it? Can the White Tigers push this all the way to a clean sweep? Three to zero. We'll have to see as we get into game number three. Interesting routing from Annabelle right there. Immediately stealing away a jungle camp. And then now moving to clear his own jungle. It was very early, very active. And on the other side, Yaoi was trying to disrupt the farming, but he was there to get too early. Annabelle only just now has arrived. He's doing damage to Yaoi as well. Goku might be caught to dispersion rotation. And it all ends up with Annabelle finding first blood, looking for more on to Goku as well. It's a disaster at the start of the game for Liquid Aura. Kabuki trying to chase Annabelle down, but he will not find it. They were looking for the plays, they were looking for the aggression. That, of course, Team Liquid have been so notorious for, especially with Yaoi on the Grok. But unfortunately, that damage intake in that jungle was a little bit too much for them to handle, and Evos were able to punish it. 2-0 to zero already, giving a kill over to Annabelle in the early stage of the game is definitely not the tempo that Team Liquid were looking for. So difficult for Liquid right now. You have to wonder what's, like, what exactly is the plan. They are the ones jumping on the turtle up against a Yu Tong, up against a Lo Yi. This level 4 is going to be such a dangerous situation for Team Liquid to try and even scout out for information. Annabelle is level 5 already. And he's actually been able to have that much fast clear, fast rotation that he's going to be able to steal that buff away. Well, charge. Manak gets knocked up as well. Dream pops an implosion, finding Aran. Look at Annabelle. Just hovering around. Annabelle already stealing the purple buff away. Now Fluffy, furious dive in the Petrify. Aran is down. Gogun can't even contest for this turtle. 1,300 gold lead in two minutes. This is the fastest gold lead of the series so far. And Evo's look to try to utilize it all the way. Guys, the pattern, we were talking about it earlier, it's looking like it might just work, we'll have to see. I told you mountains are bad. 
But man, look at Annabelle though. You have to appreciate how proactive he is. Even when everyone was setting up for the turtle, he had the opportunity, the speed to just immediately take away the purple buff from Gugun and just go back at it, arriving on time still to be to be present in those fights, in those contests. 2k gold lead with only three kills and one neutral objective. And it doesn't seem like they're gonna stop anytime soon. It's just been so one-dimensional from Team Liquid in this entire series. They're going with the same strategy over and over, but it never works out. And now, again, Evos are very quick to figure out what the adjustment from Team Liquid is, and they go with the Nolan, and so far, it's done enough, right? Annabelle now already level 8. Meanwhile, Gukun level 5. It's been four minutes. Three levels below. Well, now two, but you guys get the gist of it. Petrify, Furious Dive, the Purify now, but you cannot Purify damage. And Annabelle looks to burst him down just as he gets in range of Retribution. To get in range, that additional slow and movement speed that he steals away. Still three levels ahead of Gukun. You're seeing that Yuzong laning prowess here. Maybe that's what Liquid Aura were just con concerned about. Look at Anvil though. It doesn't even matter if you're a fighter. The assassins, the, the assassin can take out a fighter. We haven't seen that in a long, long time. But on a Nolan, with all that spam mobility, with all the extra damage you get from your passive, he is just spiraling out of control right now. And Team Liquid are just powerless to try and do anything about it. They're still gonna try though. Gugun already in the vicinity here. He's three levels below. Desperate attempt, but Yaoi has the wild charge. Goes for it. Gugun still able to secure it. Meanwhile, on the what? line, Glockman was able to disrupt some of that damage. Now, a blazing away from France goes into battle mirror image as well, but isn't able to find anyone. Oh. How did Gugun get the turtle? Wild charge, Yaoi. There it is. The space of Yaoi. That, that shouldn't have been possible, ladies and gentlemen. Kabuki goes in. On the dream, scratches him down and takes him out. Prance though has a battle mirror image, can go forward. Kabuki gets a shielding. With that ultimate again, Yaoi dispersed, rotated always. The damage keeps on coming through, but he has the power of nature. This time, CC immune. And Yaoi gets out. Interesting situation right there. You're seeing again the Grok used to secure a retribution, and we've seen that for a long, long time. That's gonna be Annabelle committing oh, no. highway robbery. It's a great play for Team Liquid to be able to secure that neutral objective, but in the grand scheme of things, you're still so far behind. It's almost like the troubles have only just begun. Call 911 right now. Because the cavalry, they're getting heart attacks left and right. This is so disrespectful right now. Ooh. A run! Oh, he gets the Brave Smite. Ooh. I don't believe the Ignition might be able to take its way down. Oh, Dreams! Implosion onto two Dreams! No barrier from Yaoi, he goes for the Wild Charge. Knocks Dreams and clocking up, but the Furious Dive comes through as well. No Petri from Fluffy, saves it for now. Look at Kabuki oh. in the back with the National Sphere connecting. That's a chase from Kabuki for the Black Dragon form as well. We're gonna turn it around onto Kabuki. The Petrify is ready from Fluffy. Let's go for it just yet. That's some really good damage from that Yuzong. 1-0-1, one, oh, one, but with the activity, with the... Oh, wow. Oh, with the impact that Annabelle has been... Oh, wow! I don't even get to, like, analyze, man. They're just doing everything so fast. Even the lanes, even if these matchups are favoring Team Liquid, it doesn't even matter, man. If yeah. Evos are rotating this fast, being this active, it's never a 1v1. That's why, like, the entire strategy that Team Liquid has looked for, has prepared for, gets one upped by Evo's diversion play. Annabelle goes in. And he goes to the back of Buki. Oh, gets caught in the fracture and he gets chased down. You flip the coin and this time you get Mr. Fantastic. Brands with the blazing duet. Annabelle with the fracture. Beautiful combo. What is going on, man? Evo's, they're everywhere. I think t Team Liquid legit thought that, okay, the turtle's up. They're winning, they have a Yuzong. This is usually where the Lord, the turtle dance begins. They go in the jungle and they just run into Annabelle and Brands. What is going on, man? Annabelle in particular, he always he just he, he's just so much faster 
than Gugun, even though it seems like they picked that Baksha specifically for that movement speed, for that roaming potential. It's just been completely outmatched. Four levels. Four levels ahead of Gugun, the player that was highlighted all the way from week number one. Catching everybody's surprise, but what? Annabelle again! So much praise for Gugun, and yet Annabelle is the highlight in this game. He has the retributions down, he has the utility down, he has the jungling down, but look at him, all the assassins! Not again, not like this. Flicker baited out just with a dash forward and a fracture. So much presence on this Ooh. Nolan. And that's a five level lead. Ladies and gentlemen, in this season 13 playoffs, a five level lead. Annabelle completely outclassing Gugun. And Annabelle's taking all the spotlight, but Grants is also 2k gold ahead compared to Kabuki. He has the, the triple item power spike already this early on. You can see earlier Yaoi taking two or three basic attacks from the Claude. Already chunked down to half HP. He is confused. Going with a Dreadnought armor to try and mitigate some of these ability based damage, especially from Annabelle and Fluffy. But at the same time, he's trying to do both and he's getting neither. Right? He's just so squishy right now that he can't even walk up to really scout properly for his team. They're gonna rely on the hair skill, who only now has the Enchanted Talisman, probably building towards a Lightning Truncheon right here. Wow. <laughs> Here's the thing, right? There you go. So many fans out there are anticipating a, reun a reunion from Yaoi and, you know, his former team, Echo, at MSC. But they are a game away of saying goodbye to that entire notion that it was only just a dream from the very beginning. One of the contenders that a lot of people actually thought would do so well this season against a team that went minus Evo's glory. Number nine at some point in the regular season. Aura, number one at some point in the season and this is the result this is the outcome that we have been given and oh, there it man. is here's the take but they don't go for it i don't think they know they spot fluffy but the furious dive is oh. perfect and fluffy knows it's perfect he recalls in front of liquid aura he flashes the rq emote and there wasn't even any time to react for Team Liquid for that Lord take. Annabelle just immediately de just deleted it. Could we get out the Malefic Roar? Only on the third item though. Evos have the, has them completely destroyed when it comes to the farming speed. Good in level 10 against a level 15 Annabelle. And that's just a tough situation to be in for any player. And I think Team Liquid are feeling the pressure right now. And Evos, they're not letting up. They're still remaining aggressive and yet not allowing any chance, any real opportunity for Team Liquid to try and make a play. This marks yet another step into this oh, zero. Oh, wow. Annabelle again with the fracture finds as hell. Dreams finds an implosion. And that might just be it with a blazing duet. It's a desperate maneuver from Kabuki. He gets a Lycan Pounce down. He gets two. But all of it is for nothing. The cavalry charge to their demise. Evo's glory continue their heroic run. From zero to hero, the White Tigers with an exceptional performance. Three to zero against the cavalry. One team, one voice, one family. You can hear the crowd, ladies and gentlemen, soak it in. A 3-0, so clean.